Hey, I'm C Dinky. Alrighty, everyone, if you have been- Can you be quiet in my intro? If you guys are in my Discord, you would definitely know what I've been going on the past day or so. I have not been recording at all because I've been so, like, into the game. Like, I just didn't feel like recording at all, which is a bit dumb because I've literally made myself a really good Belenoir. Here she is. She has muscle head, ferocious, aggressive, and brave. I'm going for all attack stats here. I got ferocious and, like, from just killing the boss. And I got muscle head from breeding and same with aggressive and brave. I have spent, like, at least 15 to 16 hours straight of just playing this game and breeding. And I will show you proof. I literally have... I also got some hoot crates over here that's going to increase Belenoir's damage as well. I have been breeding a bunch. I also killed the Belenoir libero like three or four times, something like that. Like, I have got so many boxes full of this Belenoir raid boss. I did get carried away and killed some ultras and got lucky enough to get the witch's crown ultra. So I guess I'll chuck that on for the video. I have no idea what it does. It just says extremely difficult to obtain imbued with the ominous power of Belenoir. Uh, Belenoir. Man, I'm, I can't speak today. Bell in the Wear Libero Ultra, and it's infused with it, so that's pretty cool. Also, there are the Power Fruits, like increased powers IVs. I'm not sure why how much. I'm definitely going to use that in today's video. I chucked, I got rid of all the boring grinding stuff, so we're going to jump straight into today's video. This Bell in Noir, level 50, you already know her passive stats, all attack stats, minus the defense. I think the best you can get is Musclehead Ferocious. And then Siren of the Void, and then probably Brave. I think this is the best Bella Noir possible. I'm not too sure. There might be like some sort of boss tail glitch where you can get lucky or legend on it somehow. I'm not too sure. You guys definitely have to let me know down below in the comments because I'm doing this all blind. I've seen no videos on how to make an OP Bella Noir if there is any of them on the internet so far. Anyway, so I've went ahead and I've got 118 Bella Noirs. Also, I found out that my very first Bella Noir was a male and a raid boss. I thought they were all raid bosses or like alpha powers but no apparently it's a five percent chance to get a male and i've gotten like after 116 eggs i think i've gotten like three four five males which is not a lot i'm gonna keep these two bad boys this is the muscle head that i just bred naturally which was a male which was perfect so let's go ahead and condense this bell noir up they did change it that i don't need to condense every single time like level one and then click continue level two click continue once we fully condense it i'm not sure if anyone else has fully condensed their powers yet so or this bell noir I might be late to the party, who knows? Okay, I'm going to condense this muscle head one, but here we go. Max starred Bella Noir. Here we go. Boom. Maxed out Bella Noir, or Bella Noir, however you say it. She has 1654 damage and 5000 HP. At level 50, not even soul condensed. We're definitely going to do that as well. I also found out that you can use a crusher to get power souls now. Which is extremely good because I've got so many medium, I can just make a bunch of large. But I'll wait that. I'll, if I need it, I'll just use the crusher. Also got some cheeseburgers ready. Let's go ahead and enhance our Bella Noir with the attack straight away. See, we've got so many good power cells. We're a bit low on these small. I'm not sure if we can grind any of the small ones. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. We're going to fully max her out. We're going to also use the life fruits to possibly get her max ivs in the attack and damage stat or attack and defense stat i should say she is losing i think 10 percent damage from aggressive or 10 percent resistance i should say from aggressive but that really doesn't matter she's gonna be like a literal glass cannon i think this is the most powerful pal ever in power World, even probably stronger than Rustalian or something like that let's go ahead and have a look at how she is doing fully condensed fully starred i would say almost the best passive stats we're losing 10 percent damage with siren of the void and she is sitting at 2148 that is more than my max iv fluffykins which is sitting at 1270 and this fluffykins is getting an extra i don't know 20 percent damage which is insane and this bella noir it's just destroying it. So let's go ahead and use some of our power fruits. You get these after killing Bellanoir Liberto. So I'm going to see how much it gives you. So we've got 88 in the attack stat. We give her one. Uh, that is going to bring it to 98. So it is a 10 IV point. So we're going to go ahead, max out her defense. Why not? We're going to max out her attack. We're going to waste this one to get three IV points. And we're also going to chuck it in the HP. There we go. We're going to chuck these away now because we won't need them. 100 IVs in the attack. 100 IVs in the defense. And she is sitting at 2,203 damage. Now, we are not done yet. I did farm up some hoot crates. 
only to two star. So this Bellinoir could be even stronger if I farm the four star who creates, but I didn't have enough space because I had a bunch of Bellinoirs. 2,877 damage. I have never seen something this strong before. Now, moment of truth. We got to feed a Mozzarini cheeseburger for an extra 20% damage boost. Comment down below what you think the final damage number is going to be. If my math is correct, I'm thinking maybe 3,100. I could be entirely wrong. Here we go. She's eating it. Okay. Now we just got to check how much damage she has. 3,452 damage. That's a screenshot. 3,000 damage. We need to try these out on some bosses. I, I just wonder how quick we are going to take out this Zoe and Grisbolt. I'm thinking one second. All right, Bella Noir. Show me what you can do. This tiny little unit is just going to one-shot it. Okay. She's not in it. Okay. That probably wasn't the best strategy just in that the AoE tornado, but man, 3,500 damage. I've never seen something so good before. I should probably use my this action skill. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to use the skill actions for all the bosses. I would like to believe the, all skill actions are going to kill every single boss in a single running besides maybe... Shadow Beak because that guy's also dark ta a dark type, so it's dark on dark, which is like a resistance, I think. All right, here we go. Lily and Lilyn, Nightmare Iris, knock her out. She's under the map. Oh, I I definitely expect a lot more damage from that. I'm not going to lie, but I think her normal attacks are what make her overpowered. Or maybe because dark type is very weak against Lily and Lilyn. Does she have the three thousand damage? She does. I'm just very confused why she's not doing that much damage. Maybe because she's not rocking any fire attacks, so it's not super effective against her. Maybe I go ahead and chuck on some good attacks on her, because we don't have the Lord of the... whatever it's called. Okay, so we're going to chuck on some skill fruits. We got... chuck on some ice attacks for the Axel and Orzerk. We're going to chuck on some sand attacks as well, just because why not? Okay, so there we go. We're going to chuck on the fire attacks now and redo the Lily and Lilyn fight because I'm not satisfied with that damage. Three and a half thousand damage and it took a minute to kill her. I'm not satisfied. Usually it should take 30 seconds or less than that. Let's retry that, shall we? Let's go ahead, Bella Noir. Is she buffed up still? She is. Okay, Bella Noir. Fire attacks. That's how much damage you are going to do. The Ignis Rage did no damage to you. Do they nerf the damage? I feel like I... I feel like this is very weak. Or maybe that she's just not very effective against the attacks. We should be doing a bunch more damage. I'm not going to lie. Did they maybe increase the boss's HP? Or something? But we're still doing massive damage. Okay, we're going to chuck on the Nightmare Iris. See how much damage this is going to do. Okay, the Nightmare Iris is literally destroying, but somehow going through her. Maybe it's just Lily and Lilene that's just very odd, because I'm pretty sure with the other Lamball... Like, she'll get one shot with a single flare storm. So I think they did increase the tower boss's HP somehow. And there she goes. She is down. Or maybe they just saw a lot of people making OP power videos and they realized that, like, the powers are one-shotting almost every tower boss. So they had to increase the tower boss's defense or something. I am not too sure. But anyway, we are here with Axel and Orzerk. Let's go ahead and chuck on all of the ice attacks. Fingers crossed it's not like the Lily and Lilina. It takes forever to kill it, but we shall see. There you go, Bella Noir. Are you still buffed up? She is still buffed up. Okay, let's see how much damage you're going to do. 2,000 damage. I'm pretty sure I should have done a lot more. I have a massive feeling that this should be... We should be doing so much more damage. If anyone in the comments knows if they've, like, increased the tower boss's HP, please let me know because it does feel like they've done that. I'm just very confused why we're doing such little damage. But still, like, I'm not complaining. It's still big damage, but, like, it just... It should be a lot better, no? I feel like the damage should be spiking. Okay, I'm gonna retry this with all my crevices to see if my Lamble does little damage as well. So this is gonna be the ultimate confirmer if they have definitely nerfed a bunch of the power's damage. I really hope not. I really wanted to see how quick we could take out that tower boss. Bluffikins, if you do little to no damage, I'm going to be very shocked. Because then they've definitely nerfed. They have nerfed the palace damage somehow. Is it the hat I'm wearing? Is that like reducing my power? No. They've definitely made the tower bosses more tanky then. I really hope this is a game bug. Please, devs. So you're telling me at three and a half 
thousand damage bill in a while. Can't take out a level 25 boss in like three seconds. Okay, I guess we'll have to try it on the just a regular bell in a while now because I don't think we can do the Libero one just by herself. Like, I'm actually gutted. Why is he so weak? Let's summon her in and it'll just be Bell Noir and I in the boss fight. Fingers crossed she does some damage. I really hope so. Okay, we're seeing 500. The Dragon Breath. See, I feel like they've definitely changed the damage system. Yeah, 200 damage a pop doesn't feel right. I just wish it did more damage. I'm definitely gonna contact the devs. My defense is too high, you can't you can't kill me. I literally can't go below half HP. And there we go, she is down. Take out that rush orb. <laughs> Please. He's, he's gonna hit you. <laughs> what are you doing? I think she's dead. Okay, well there is the OP Bella Noir. I'm pretty sure that's the maximum amount of damage she will get. I think the best stats she can have is Ferocious Muscle Head. Brave, and then also like her Liberto one. I can't remember what it's called, like Siren of the Void. I think it was. I think that's like the best passive stat you can get for her. But um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite disappointed. I spent a long time to make this pal OP, and it doesn't seem super strong. Okay, now I'm not sure what the next video is going to be, considering I've pretty much already done everything new in Power World. I've got an OP Bella Noir. I fought the new raid bosses. And I'm not sure what to do now. So please let me know down below in the comments what else I should do. I don't think the OP power is going to be worth it anymore. I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest. But anyway, if you guys made it this far into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.